Since 2013, average wages and salaries in Australia have increased at just 2% per year or less. That is the slowest rate of wage growth since the 1930s. Many, including the Governor of the Reserve Bank, believe that there is a wages crisis brewing in Australia, and we tend to agree with him. In an edited collection of essays, a group of leading experts and commentators have sought to explore the causes and the consequences of this problem and canvas some prospective solutions. The resulting book, which was edited by Professor Andrew Stewart, Dr Jim Stanford and myself, acknowledges, unfortunately, that there is no single solution to what is a multi-dimensional and complex problem. Indeed, slow wage growth is a product of many causes, including the depressing impact of widespread underemployment, technological change and global competition. But there's also been a significant weakening of employee power reflected in the continuing drop in union density and a market dip in collective bargaining coverage. The institutional framework established under the Fair Work Act has largely proved ineffective in countering these trends and in some instances has perpetuated them. Among other factors, the growth in precarious forms of employment, migrant workers and indirect or fissured um, arrangements such as subcontracting, labour hire and franchising have made workers less likely to join a union or take collective action when they do. Many of these same workers are under pressure to accept substandard wages or unlawful working arrangements. What a lot of people are calling wage theft is a problem that is now rife in Australia. The rise of the gig economy has shone a new light on an old problem and that is the systemic evasion of employment standards regulation. But the issue of lagging wages is not one confined to the private sector. In fact, our book finds that uh, governments have a lot to answer for. They've held down wages in the public sector and emboldened companies that sell goods and services to the government to demand similar wage restraint from their own employees.